What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here, former Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. Woo! What's up, everyone? So, as you guys know, we've been trying to stop just talking about it and get back into it. So, I've been hitting the ruck videos if you haven't seen those. Uh, I did a 20 mile ruck with Abel and then we did a steep climb. Uh, we do have Pikes Peak planned pretty soon. So we decided to stop talking about it and start being about it and show you guys how we use our equipment, um, the fact that it works and the fact that if you put your mind to something, you could do it. So hope you enjoy those videos because my feet and my knees and my back are paying the price for them. In this video, we're gonna talk about train up. How do you get ready? You decided you wanna do special forces and you know you gotta be in shape, but that's a hard thing to break down because there's multiple uh, facets to being ready for special operations. Um, you can't just be fit. You can't. It's not about how you look, it's about how you can perform. So where should you start when you decide that this is something that you wanna do and that this is the career path that you wanna go down? Before we get to that, this video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. Talking about fitness, you want to get ready. I use 18 Alpha Fitness. Use code word BUCK and Kevin will hook you up. Uh, go sign up. I love the kettlebell portion. It's my favorite part. It's low. It's injury preventative, um, and it helps you get really fit using kettlebells. So many things. Um, that being said, we got a ton of stuff dropping on the site, guys. If you guys aren't signed up for the email list, make sure you go do that. Uh, we have the tour FNG Academy collab drop number two coming very, very soon, probably this week. They're so badass. If you guys haven't seen them, go check it out. We also have the FNG Academy journal coming out. I made a journal. Um, I did a video talking about how important journaling is, and we decided just to make our own to help you uh, know what to journal and how to do it and kind of break down that process. It's got some tips in there, um, some land nav tips, some uh, MOS breakdowns and stuff like that, uh, the SF Creed, and then it's just how I journal broken down into each page. So that'll be dropping probably uh, next week. So be on the lookout. Now let's talk about workouts. Let's talk about what you should do to get ready for selection. You decided you wanna be a Green Beret, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, what do you need to do? So obviously it's a good idea to find a program like 18 Alpha um, or CrossFit. I'm not saying exclusively you have to do this one um, because we work together. I'm saying you need to pick one. You should pick one that suits your workout style. So that's gonna uh, keep you fit um, in like an overall aspect. So you're gonna break down fitness for special operations in like a three-tier way. So you're gonna have a three-tier approach to getting ready for special forces. Uh, one is you're gonna be a good rucker. That's gotta be one of your main focuses. Another one is that you need to be a good runner. And then the third is that you need to be physically fit all around right so uh, the physically fit all around part is going to depend on um, the programs that you sign up for i'm using 18 alpha if you guys want to use crossfit or whatever uh, back when i was going through crossfit football was a big one i don't think it's a thing anymore um, but whatever pick a programming that is going to make you do stuff you don't want to do so the problem is if you don't have a programming you're going to avoid uh, doing certain movements like kevin's got me doing this one with a kettlebell on the side it sucks, but I know it's good for my hip strength and I know it's it's good for my core. But that's the thing. If we if we don't follow a program, a lot of times we'll end up just cherry picking the workouts. And you'll see those guys in the gym all the time. They're always doing the bench and then they'll do the pull-ups. It's always just bench and pull-ups. Um, every once in a while, some deadlifts. And I'm not saying those, there's anything wrong with those workouts, but what I'm saying is if you're just cherry picking the ones that you like to do, uh, you're not helping yourself out because your body needs to be all around fit. Otherwise, you're going to go in there with some big puffed out chest and you're going to get a hip injury um, or knees or hamstrings because or your calves are weak because you didn't do overall fitness. So you've picked a program to follow and that's going to help you avoid cherry picking. That's step number one. Step number two is you need to focus on rucking. Uh, obviously, we're doing a lot of videos on how to do that because rucking is complicated. Rucking is like uh, you need to have all your ducks in a row. You really need to have everything figured out. So that entails foot care. That entails what ruck to use That during training. That entails how to pack your water and use hydration straws, um, which boots you're going to wear, like all that stuff. Once you refine that, it feels great because you know you're going to get out there and you're going to crush it. 
But the process of refining that kind of sucks because you're gonna go through boots that you hate, mm -hmm. you're gonna try socks that you hate, some are too thick, they're too thin, they slide all over, they collect too much moisture. Um, so you have to go through that painstaking process to figure out what you like, and that is part of the process of getting good at rucking. I'm going through it now, I did that 20 mile ruck, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. And I hate my boots that at one point I liked a lot. But the problem was I didn't use those boots for those long, long distance rucks. I would use them for short sprints, like the 12 mile run. And for that, they're great. But you start adding more weight, it changes everything. That's another thing. I started putting heavier weight into my pack. Um, so I don't know if you guys know this, but there's a, a world record out there. It's 100 pounds in your pack, marathon run. Um, the fastest time to do is a National Guard guy. He did it in six hours and 27 minutes. I like to beat that. So I just went and put 90 pounds in my ruck, and it was horrible. It's horrendous. So now this tactical tailor Molly ruck that I like a lot for 40 pounds, 45 pounds, 50 pounds. Um, and I remember this in the Q, Q course as well. When that ruck gets up to 100 pounds, it's garbage. I'm telling you guys, that thing goes from awesome to garbage. All that weight shoves that, uh, that lower back support way too hard. The straps become insanely uncomfortable. Uh, obviously, any ruck is going to feel like shit at 100 pounds because it's a lot of weight to have in your back. But the tactical tailor straight up goes from a hero to a zero when you get over 65 pounds into like 70, 80, 90s. So all those things that you need to figure out. So that's another phase of your training. So now you have overall fitness and you have the rucking. Next comes the running, right? So there's a th three tier approach to getting ready for selection. Uh, and then the running portion is very important that you understand the same thing, your gear. But what's the main gear for running? It's your shoes. So here's the biggest mistake that I see runners make that wanna get better at running. Uh, again, this is just the shoes, this is just your gear because running is gonna then break down into a ton of uh, attack plans for how you're gonna get better at running. Uh, if you haven't, if you don't follow Nick Bear, go check out Nick. He does a ton of running, ultras and all that. So he's focusing on speed and distance. You always got to be varying it up and changing it. And if you're hitting a plateau, which a lot of you guys say, I can't get any faster. It's because you're probably running the same uh, tempo very often. When I was getting ready for selection, I would get on the treadmill um, and do as fast as I can get it. So as fast as I can get that treadmill to go and do sprints as fast as I can go for as long as I could, I would jump off. Um, and then restart and try to do that again. You needed, I needed personally to change up that tempo a lot. So from long, slower rucks to very, very fast sprints, um, all that needs to be worked into a good, solid plan. But the biggest mistake I see people make is they just go buy some random pair of shoes. Stop doing that. I didn't learn this and I made this mistake too. I didn't learn this until I started doing the 50K ultra runs. Um, and that is go into a good shoe store that has a foot scanner. They will scan your feet and they will tell you exactly what shoes will fit best for your foot. You don't even have to buy the shoes from them. If they're outrageously expensive, just get that brand and say, okay, thank you, and then go to Amazon and buy them. I have been getting a little weary about Amazon. I feel like they sell a lot of fake shit. Um, so be careful with that because I'll see in some like really good boots and then all of a sudden they're on Amazon and people fucking hate them and they're falling apart. I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. I think either check the seller. Uh, I don't, I'm not an expert on it, but... I feel like Amazon's putting out some fake shit sometimes, so be careful with that. Uh, if it's something as important as your shoes, go to the source. If it's as important as your boots, go to the source. You may pay a little more, but at least you know you're getting the real deal and not some knockoff boot because someone's trying to scam you. So for me, it's Hoka's, like Hoka One Ones. I love those fucking things. They're goofy, they're awful looking, but I love them. Uh, I ran ultras i ran the um, leadville marathon in them i love them so go have your feet scanned and then come up with a plan for your running so all right guys that's kind of my my tip for when you're deciding that you want to go special forces and you have to start getting ready uh what are you going to do you're going to break it down into three uh tier attack plan and you're going to focus on each one and get that one figured out you're going to find a program to follow for your overall fitness that's going to stop you from cherry picking your workouts and, and make you focus on core and lower body and all that stuff. Uh, I recommend 18 Alpha, uh, but that's because we work together. You could use code word buck. I like it, but again, just so you know, we work together, so um, he sponsors videos and stuff. So pick a, pick a program. 
Then you're gonna focus on rucking and you're gonna break down all your gear. You're gonna get out there, you're gonna start with low weights um, and then just fluctuate with weights and mileage um, and try to be as diverse as possible and then get your gear worked out. So that's gonna be attack plan number two. And then attack plan number three is to get your running game on point, which I would encourage you to follow people like Nick uh, Bear, who's going out there and putting this stuff to the test. Uh, he did that stuff with rucking too, but I want to really hammer out the rucking and getting the gear out right now until we have all these things sorted. And I could really recommend you guys the best stuff, the best boots and all that. But that's going to take a long time of me trying and rucking my ass off and doing a lot of things to try out all this different gear for you guys. So come up with that three phase plan. Start getting those things dialed in. Seek professional help if you need it, um, if you could afford it. Uh, everyone's in a different phase in their life, but no matter where you are, I always, anytime I start a new venture, I seek professional help. A uh, ton of that stuff is out there for free on YouTube. You're watching it right now. So you're doing the right thing right now. Seek professional help. Find someone that knows what they're talking about um, and then start getting out and getting after it. I hope that got, I hope that helps you guys kind of figure out your process and get your mind right about where to start getting ready for selection. Um, we're here to help. Make sure you go over to the fngacademy.com. You can hit the shop button. We got a bunch of gear uh, that'll help you in your selection. We got stuff that we're uh, creating right now. We have stuff at engineers, um, businesses right now that are getting engineered that we think is gonna help you guys get selected. Journal's gonna be dropping soon. Knives gonna be dropping soon. Uh, that knife is intended for sear school because you need a fixed blade. So we highly recommend that knife. Uh, it's got 550 cord on it, it's lightweight, it's a uh, lifetime warranty through tour, so it's the perfect sear school knife. We'll talk to you guys next time.